video concentrates on laying your pattern pieces on your fabric. So once you've checked all your fabric and prepared it, um, you're ready now to lay your pieces on your fabric. So you need to choose kind of what method um, that you're going to use for laying out the fabric. Okay, this really corresponds with your pattern and the design of your garment. So there are three main ways that you would lay your fabric. One would be on the single, so you would open up your fabric, and it would be laid on the single. So this generally suits garments that are um, asymmetrical. So there's only one piece here, and then the other piece on this side is different, and the back the same. So you're only actually cutting one of each piece. So you only need one, you only need a single layer of fabric, so you place it out and that would be like on the single and you place all your pieces on it appropriately. The other method that's common, because often our garments are symmetrical, so we need say two front pieces that are the same and two back pieces that are the same. So we could fold our fabric in half so we have it doubled, so it's on the double and we can place it like that and when we put our uh, pieces down on it, if I place this here and we're going to pin it, arrange it properly, I would get two pieces. Also, you might have a pattern piece that's cut on the fold, so this would be for the front of the garment. There's no seam down the front, this piece would needs to be cut on the fold of the fabric. So you place it along here, so you fold it and place the pattern piece along there and then when you cut it out you'd have a full piece. So this is actually quite a common uh, way of laying your fabric, but it's just to be sure that it isn't the only way and don't always just start by folding your fabric in half and pinning and, and assuming that that is the best way to lay your pattern pieces. It's often the best, particularly if you're working on a symmetrical pattern design. So, there's also um, a combination. So there's the single, there's on the double, and then there's a combination. So you could maybe have something that has uh, a cut one. So you need some single space and you need some double space. So for example, this cut on the fold. So maybe we need to place that there along the fold. So we need somewhere to be folded. But we also need a big space here for our single. Part of the skirt. Now, this doesn't quite fit in, but just for the example there. So, when you are, um, so I'll, I'll just pretend that this is a piece that's on the single. So, when you're uh, placing, doing this kind of combination where there's a one part folded, you need to be sure that when you fold it, that that fold line is on grain, particularly if you're putting something on that fold line. So, to do that, you just measure from the folded edge to the salvage edge. So the salvage edge being the machine finished edge there. So you uh, determine, so for there it's 33. For example, that's not quite 33, so I'm gonna pull that a little bit. And arrange it so that um, it's now same all the way along. So that means that this fold is on grain. So on grain means any line that's parallel to the salvage edge. Okay, all these lines are parallel and we want this folded line, which would be the centre front of our garment, to be on the uh, on grain. Okay, so when you do that, fold it, check it. You can um, pin along that edge so that it's held in place. It might depend on how slippy the fabric, but generally speaking, I would pin. It, likewise, if you were folding it all the way in half, what you want to do is have the fold be close to, to you. And actually, very importantly, you want to be sure, and when you are doing your folding, you want to be sure you're folding it the correct way. So you need to be sure and determine your salvage edge, which is your machine finished edge. And you want to fold one salvage edge to the opposite. So if you think of fabric a bit like a river, so it's long, pin that way really, um, you've got one side, one salvage edge, 
is essentially like the river, one side of the riverbank, and then the, that's the opposite riverbank. And you want to really fold one to the other. You only ever look at it in solid edge. So you ignore the cut edge. That's humans cut it. They haven't cut it in any direction. That's correct. So when you line up the solid edges, the cut edge will be often um, skewed. Okay, so it's the opposite solid edge um, that you want to line up. Just take care that you don't take you know, a solid edge and fold it to the same solid edge. All right, so we're folding it one side of the river to the other. And then what you want is to pin it nicely together. So I would usually put the fabric like that. I would hold it, the edges towards my body and towards the end of a table. It's nice if you have a sharp edge, this is rounded, so it isn't as good, but still it serves to help um, me see that this edge is straight. When you work on more advanced, more difficult fabrics, the edge does get wavy sometimes, so it becomes more important that you have a straight edge to line it up with to be sure that the edge is straight. It takes a minute to line the fabric up so that it's matched at the solid edge and there isn't any pull. Often what you get is people just grabbing the fabric, placing it in whatever way they think is right, and then there's all these um, pulls and tucks and you can't get the fabric flat. So we've got to respond to that. If there's a pull there, we've got to know we've got to move it down. And I do that a little bit with, I find the little bit of air tends to settle it naturally. Um, like that. Okay, so we get it lined up. So this is for our folded in half plates towards me. It's a long straight edge. This fabric is holding its shape anyway, so it's fine and then put a few pins in the edge to keep it together. Again, you might need quite a few in fabric that is very slippy and slidy. This fabric is fairly structured, and so a few will do. Okay, um, now when you are laying, uh, there is two different main sort of sizes the fabric come in. So this is the narrower width fabric, this fabric is about 115 centimetres wide. So fabrics often come in that size, particularly silks, uh, craft fabrics, various fabrics come in this narrow width. And it means that you might need more fabric to get your um, pattern made. This is the wider width fabric, so this is 150 centimetres wide. 